I doing guys? Um, well, another setback on the RJ. For whatever reason, the K91 that I put on this tractor as a replacement to the K90 that was pushing oil, the spark just went away. It's got no spark, something went bad on it. So, I know it's got fuel because there's fuel in the carburetor bowl. It was running really nice and then it just quit on me. So this tractor for some reason has a has a hex on it or something. I don't know. This thing just or it just doesn't like the thought of having a Kohler engine on it. But in any event, what I have done is I've started work on the K90 that was originally on the tractor um, that started to push a little oil for whatever reason. So what I've done thus far is I fully cleaned it. Oh, I stripped it all down and I fully cleaned it. Uh, so it's pretty squeaky clean inside as it is. Um, I hit the decks with a cookie wheel on my die grinder, just a little scotch bite pad on a die grinder and cleaned the deck up. I took my Dremel tool with a little fine wire brush, cleaned the seat, and then I also clear, cleaned the insides of the ports. I don't know, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's all all decarboned. Uh, same with the intake. The intake actually was a little bit rusted, so let's see. I it's hard, but um, what I did was actually I got my flashlight right here. Let's turn that bad boy on, and we can shine in there. I think. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I cleaned it up perfectly. Um, then I cookie wheeled the. You know, the surface, surface, where those points go. Cookie wheeled the outside ring, and then I glass beaded the block. The other thing I did was chase all the threads. I also, there was a bolt, even though I'm not going to use it, there was a bolt that was rusted in there. I drilled it out real carefully and re, uh, re tapped the hole to quarter 20, so that's fixed. Um, tapped all the holes, made sure everything's all set to go. Um, Let's see if we can see inside the bore. The bore actually is in real nice shape. It's glazed over. It's glazed over, but there's no ridge. There's just no there's no ridge whatsoever on the in the bore. So this will get honed. Let's see if we can see in there. You can see where there was old rust in the bore. I think that was part of the problem also. So there's no pitting. It's just a stain in the bore. So I'm gonna just hone the bore. Uh, I got my new way tool, and we will. Uh, you know, hit the seats for the clean 45. Um, actually, we can flip the motor over and take a look on the inside. It's pretty, it's pretty clean inside. Let me get my flashlight again. So, there we go. So it, it's real clean inside. Everything looks real good. Doesn't look like there's any issues. The bearing surfaces are all good. The seal surfaces are good. So, I'm gonna move forward on the motor. I am going to clean up a couple other parts over here obviously the head I had cleaned it before it's still good so I might just wipe that down the camshafts in real good uh, shape I did get a couple new parts I scored a new piston for it uh, for $15 so it's going to get a new piston um, I have a 20 over ring set and we'll talk about that later in a later video um, for it so that way I could size them to the bore got new seals I actually had one of the I had the um, the PTO seal in stock I had to get a, a seal for the bearing plate um, two new valves um, and a gasket kit I got a couple other parts coming I went out to my shed and I pulled another bearing plate out I figure this bearing plate's dirty but it's mint all the threads are perfect so this thread here is a little bit blown out might as well just swap it out and just put a clean it all up and put a brand new bearing plate on it. Uh, the crankshaft mic'd out perfectly. Obviously our points and condenser and all that stuff is all brand new from the original uh, starting of the thing. Same with the ignition and the new coil, new ignition wire, everything. So that's all gonna stay. The flywheel, obviously it worked, it's fine because um, we had good solid spark. Uh, so we're, we're all, we're get, oops, sorry, well, we're getting there. And so the next step is I'm going to show maybe not the actual honing of the block, but we'll get the block honed and we'll get the valves, the valve seats recut with the new way tool. 
I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those new way tools used, but I'll show you how that kind of goes. And then we'll go from there. So this engine is going to get rebuilt. And this this engine will get, I'm going to give it the 100 percenter all the way through. And we'll get that K91 out of it and put the K90 back in it. We'll get it running. We'll seat the rings. Do some carb adjustments, obviously, and then we'll get this thing ready. I got to get this. This has got to be a running driving tractor by the end of June because this one's going to the wheel or show. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, and we will talk soon.